Hey, what's up dudes? Welcome to the channel. I'm just some guy. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. If you're not new here, well, welcome back. So I'm doing my chill and go outside thing that I've been trying to do. Sorry about no upload yesterday. The new Path of Exile League came out and, um, well, I did that instead of, uh, instead of uploading. I was going to do something in the morning and then I woke up in the afternoon because I took the day off of work to play video games. Um, and so, you know, that's that. But I think I, I said that in the last video anyways. But, um, yo, I, so I woke up this morning to like 12, no, 1,300 more views on my video talking about the person who came to my door than I had when I went to sleep. And I don't know what, what algorithm I got hit with, you know, what that put me in, but uh, that's kind of wild. Um, like, that's kind of the numbers that I was getting on, like, my previous, my gaming channel before, um, before I quit and switched to this channel. Um, and I, I read a lot of the comments. Um, a lot of people, you know, you guys, you guys wrote a lot of stuff that like, you know, this really hits home with you. And, you know, I was thinking about it. And, um, one of the things I kind of realized was like, it definitely, things changed in the last, like probably f three or four years. Right. So I've been living here in in this nice little out of the way area for eight years now but i would always go to anime conventions you know so i would get that social interaction now i'll be real with you i was socially awkward even though um you know i'm a youtuber streamer you know i was head of security and stuff like that like i'm i'm not the most socially adept person you know, if somebody, well, that's not true. If somebody approaches me and talks to me, I'm fine. But like if I have to go talk to somebody else, nah, no, not my jam. You know, because I think like for me, uh, you know, I always think like, you know, why would this person want to talk to me, right? Mostly like how I don't really want to talk to the people who come to my door or stuff like that. Um, oh, I'm sitting inside the garage because it is, it is, it is Ohio outside. Boy, it is, it is not looking good. Especially, you know, it was like 60 yesterday. Like I actually had to crack my window because it was hot inside. And then it just decided to, to crater. Classic, classic Ohio. Um, but anyways, I think like when it started, right? So like I would go to anime conventions, I would get a whole three, four, maybe some five, sometimes five days of social interaction and being an introvert, right? I would come home and I'd be like, whoo, man, five days of interacting with people for like 15 hours a day. Like I need to, I need to recoup, you know, and being out here was good because, I didn't have to, you know, have meaningless conversations with people, you know, like the people at the office, like I didn't have to, you know, come back from a, you know, four days of dealing with home with, you know, tons and tons of people to hear about little Billy's softball game or, you know, soapbox derby stuff or, you know, what Caroline from HR said it's stuff I didn't care about. Um, but the problem is, is that when we were all locked down, we couldn't really go anywhere. And, you know, one of the things, too, that was, like, crazy to me was, like, my mom would get, you know, curbside groceries. Now, I never really had the option of that because I live 30 minutes away from anything that can be considered like an actual town. I consider a town something that has a Walmart in it. You know, K Kona, hell yeah, brother. Very, very middle, Midwestern, you know, Merc in here. Like, if your town ain't got a Walmart, is it even a town, brother? I don't think so. 
you know, so I'm about 30 minutes away from, you know, anything like that. So, you know, curbside really wasn't like a thing for me. Plus, like, I really didn't care. Like, I go, I went grocery shopping like once every like month and a half or so. And a lot of times it was just the Walmart that's near like the butcher that I would go to and I'd, you know, stock up on like, you know, 60, 70 pounds of meat. And then I would get non-perishable stuff and stuff like that. But my mom would always get curbside. And, you know, one of the things that she told me was that she, like, after doing it for so long, she didn't like going into stores. She had, like, anxiety to go into stores. And I know a lot of people that had that. Now, she's gotten over that. <laughs> Although, on the flip side, now I found out that Walmart, you know, with Walmart Plus, I can get that stuff just delivered to my house. So now I have even less inclination to go outside and interact with other people. Well, to be fair, I don't really want to interact with people at Walmart in the first place, you know. Like, most of the time, a homie will come up out of nowhere and be like, Oh man, that's a real nice Jeep, brother. Do you take that thing mudding? Hell no, I don't. You know how much money I had to pay for that? I'm not slamming that thing into a big pile of mud. Are you dumb? You know, like, and then they'll want to talk to me about my car. And I'm like, brother, I don't know you. You know, that's like always one of the things that like bugs me about like talking to like random strangers is like, yeah, I don't, I don't know you, dude. You know, they might be a nice person, right? Um, I remember one time I had to have somebody come and do the insulation in my attic they saw some of my anime figures, and then me and that homie talked about anime for the entire time he was here. Real cool dude. But, you know, it is what it is, right? Um, but I think, like, the big thing, for me anyways, is that, like, when I couldn't do my venture out to anime conventions every other month every month or so you know i for my channel i would travel to anime conventions and do meetups and stuff like that and so i would get that social interaction well when covid hit and i was you know out of the game for two years or so before it was like at least a year year and a half before anime conventions started coming back and like by that time i was already like a social recluse you know and it's real hard to make friends. You know what I mean? Like, it's real hard to just, like, how do you make friends these days? Like, everything is online, right? Like, what, what do I do? Just go over to, like, you know, three doors down the street and be like, hey, what's up, dude? You know, do I go to Walmart and go, hey, what's up? I see that you... You also like oatmeal cream pies. Do you want to be my friend and hang out? Like, it's it's hard. I mean, all of my friends that I have are pretty much online. You know, granted, my one friend Jonas is coming over today and we're going to go get some chicken wings and stuff like that. But he lives in Michigan, so it's rare when I see him as well. Um, you know, I got to deal with just Ricky, which is Gary's sister, who, you know, to be fair... Ricky is a homie because there are a lot of times where, you know, somebody in the comment section said that it sounds like I was dealing with depression. Yeah, I am. Yeah, no, it, it is, you know, and sometimes when I was like really, really deep in depression, you know, she would come over and bring me some salad or something like that. And so, you know, that was always really nice. So like sometimes I'll go see bad movies with Ricky, like, you know, uh, well, Kung Fu Panda wasn't a bad movie, and Godzilla Zero wasn't a bad movie either, but there were a lot of Zoomer TikTok kids in there, and they were talking about, like, skibbity toilets and, like, the Rizzler with the gat out, and I'm like, bruh, I didn't think that this was real, and then I saw it in real life, and I was like, on God, dude, I can't, I just can't right now, you know, um, mostly because being online being like a streamer and a youtuber and stuff like that i kind of pick up that lingo which you know it really depresses me when i understand what those things are saying but i think that like as we have a more convenient society like things can just be delivered to your house things there's Man, does anybody remember when you used to have to actually go to, like, a GameStop at midnight to get a video game? Yeah, that was a good way to make friends because everybody was there to play, you know, the new World of Warcraft expansion. 
you know. Um, do they have ducks now? There was a goat in my front yard. Uh, I had a, my neighbor's goat decided to jump the fence and come over and, like, nibble on my grass, which, I mean, I don't mind. You know, eat it up, brother. Keep my grass, keep my grass uh, cut so I don't have to. But, um, you know, I think that, like, as we have a more convenient society, like, I get everything through Amazon, Walmart delivers to me. To be honest, I have no real reason to leave my house. Like, I just don't, unless I want to go out to eat or out to a movie to with Ricky, which, I mean, to be fair, I could just watch that movie at home. I can probably rent it as soon as it comes to movie theaters. Like, just rent it through YouTube or some site or something like that. But I think that as we are getting more technologically advanced, everything's at our fingertips, everything is there, like, we really are losing touch with other people you know a lot of people like the whole work from home thing but like sometimes you need you need that annoying co-worker to annoy you with things that you don't care about to appreciate the silence that you have at home because sometimes especially if you're just locked in home locked at home like you just get more and more depressed where to the point where you know sometimes although I'll, I'll be real like sometimes when i do have to go like i have a very short social battery now which you know comes from being isolated you know weird hermit hobo um you know i'll go out and it's like like two hours of dealing with people and i'm just like bro i gotta go home like i got i got to go home i can't deal with these people right now like i'm i'm done i'm done clock me clock me out brother um, but I'm not going to ramble too long today. I just want to say thanks to all the, the new people. Um, I don't know what you expect out of this channel, but this channel is literally just me talking about what I like, what's on my mind. So it's going to be things like this. It might be video games. It might be anime. It might be me reacting to those really, really bad DIY videos. Those things are so terrible, but, um, Hey, I hope you guys enjoy the content, you know, as always, like, fave, subscribe, you like it if you like it, dislike it if you disliked it, um, and thanks, new homies. Yeah, algorithm is super weird sometimes. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy, homies. Peace out.